Tesla's early mover advantage won't keep it at the top forever. Well, Toyota will see to it. Their answer to Musk's hegemony is solid-state batteries. After years of focusing on hybrids and lagging behind in all electric adoption, Toyota has unveiled a solid-state battery prototype that promises over 1,000 kilometers of range and ultra-fast charging in under 15 minutes. With over $13 billion invested in battery innovation and a rollout strategy that begins with Lexus and expands to mass market models by 2028, Toyota isn't just catching up, it may just as well crush Tesla's lead. Let's see how things are playing out with Toyota's late entry and rapid acceleration in EVs. Toyota is changing. It's changing fast. For much of the 2010s, Toyota held firm in its belief that hybrid technology was the most practical path to carbon neutrality. This conviction was embodied in its flagship hybrid, the Toyota Prius, which debuted in 1997 and became one of the best-selling hybrid vehicles in the world. By 2022, Toyota had sold over 20 million hybrid vehicles globally. However, the tide has now turned. There is not going to be enough room for the middle ground in the future. It's either or, and Toyota realizes it. That being said, Toyota's pivot toward full electrification is beginning to take tangible shape. In 2023, Toyota sold approximately 150,000 EVs worldwide. This was a major leap. Just a year earlier, the Japanese automaker could only manage to sell a little over 24,000 EVs, mostly through its BZ4X crossover SUV and a few other regional offerings. The nearly five-fold increase in 2023 EV sales reflects both a sharp change in Toyota's production strategy and a growing global demand for fully electric options. The increase also reflects Toyota's recognition that hybrid dominance alone will not secure its place in the future automotive market. The market is changing. So is Toyota. Part of this new approach is Toyota's decision to use Lexus, the company's luxury division, as the vanguard for its most advanced electric technologies. Lexus, which sold over 824,000 vehicles globally in 2023, is not only a symbol of high-end automotive engineering but also a strategic testing ground for Toyota's most premium innovations. The Lexus RZ450e, launched in 2022, marked the brand's first dedicated battery electric vehicle. Designed on the e platform shared with the BZ4X, the RZ450e reflects Toyota's attempt to marry luxury performance with electric efficiency. Moreover, Lexus has announced plans to go fully electric by 2035, with some markets like Europe and North America transitioning even earlier. This staggered rollout allows Toyota to fine-tune its battery technologies, powertrain software, and production logistics before scaling up to mass-market Toyota-branded EVs. The company's renewed vision is encapsulated in its Beyond Zero initiative, a wide-reaching electrification campaign announced in 2021. As part of this initiative, Toyota has committed to achieving annual sales of 1.5 million electric vehicles by 2026. This target is ambitious considering that as recently as 2020, Toyota's EV output was negligible in global terms. To support this transition, the automaker has pledged roughly $13.5 billion in battery development and electrification by 2030. This investment covers not only new vehicle platforms but also battery research and development, solid-state battery trials, software integration, and the construction of dedicated EV production lines. By 2030, Toyota aims to offer 30 new electric models across both the Toyota and Lexus brands and reach annual sales of 3.5 million EVs globally. Toyota's global production network is also being restructured to support its electric ambition. In the United States, Toyota announced a $1.3 billion investment in its Kentucky plant in 2024 to prepare for off-production with the first U.S. assembled B expected to roll off the line in 2025. Simultaneously, a battery manufacturing plant is being constructed in Liberty, North Carolina, scheduled to begin operations in 2025 and expected to produce enough batteries for 1.2 million vehicles annually. In Japan, Toyota's Motomachi plant, one of its most historic production sites, is being revamped to serve as a key EV assembly hub. The company is also exploring production capacity increases in Europe, particularly in the UK and Turkey, where existing facilities can be upgraded for EV output. Just a couple of years back, Toyota executives were publicly voicing skepticism about fully electric vehicles, citing concerns about charging infrastructure, battery sourcing, and consumer readiness. Former Toyota president Akio Toyota famously warned that a rapid transition to EVs could strain global electricity grids and hurt the environment if power generation remained carbon-intensive. 
while such concerns were not unfounded, they led to a perception that Toyota was lagging behind companies like Tesla and Hyundai in embracing the electric future. Now, however, Toyota has recalibrated its stance. The automaker is placing a strong emphasis on battery innovation, including plans to commercialize solid-state batteries by 2027. These batteries promise faster charging times, longer range, and greater safety than conventional lithium-ion counterparts. If Toyota succeeds in scaling this technology, it could leapfrog many competitors in terms of performance and durability. In 2023, Toyota engineers reported achieving a prototype solid-state cell capable of a pro 1,000 km range on a single charge with a 10-minute recharge time. Despite its late start, Toyota's electrification strategy benefits from its experience in lean manufacturing and global logistics. The company's mastery of supply chain management, quality control, and cost optimization will become critical advantages as the EV sector matures and margins tighten. Moreover, Toyota's global dealership and service infrastructure, particularly in markets like North America, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East, gives it a logistical edge in AVE rollout and maintenance support. Critically, Toyota's approach also shows signs of regional adaptation. In China, which is actually the world's largest EV market, Toyota is collaborating with Bede, China's top EV manufacturer, to develop electric sedans that are really tailored to local tastes. Their joint product, the Toyota Biz 3, was released in China in late 2022 and leverages Bide's blade battery technology for enhanced safety and energy density. In Europe, where you know stringent emissions regulations have rapidly pushed EV adoption, Toyota is gradually increasing its electric offerings to comply with tightening fleet average carbon dioxide standards. By 2025, it plans for at least 10% of all European sales to be battery electric vehicles, with the remainder being hybrids and plug-in hybrids. While not as aggressive as European rivals like Volkswagen or Renault, this transition marks a clear pivot from its previously hybrid-exclusive approach in the region. The era of Toyota cautiously observing the electric vehicle revolution from the sidelines is well decisively over. For years, the automaker synonymous with hybrid excellence and unparalleled global scale placed its strategic bets on a multi-pathway approach, championing a gradual transition that included hydrogen and continued refinement of its hybrid systems. This measured stance, while rooted in a pragmatic assessment of global infrastructure and diverse consumer needs, increasingly painted the company as a hesitant latecomer to the very technological disruption it helped initiate with the Prius. Now, the coming years will present the ultimate test for the world's largest automaker. The critical question is no longer if Toyota will engage in the EV arena, but whether it can reinvent its colossal manufacturing, supply chain, and corporate identity fast enough to not just compete, but to reclaim a position of leadership in a market it once seemed reluctant to fully embrace. The sheer weight of its legacy, a vast empire built on the principles of the internal combustion engine and its hybridization, is both its greatest asset and its most significant inertia to overcome. Central to this high-stakes transformation is the Toyota production system and its deeply ingrained philosophy of Kaizen or continuous improvement. This world-renowned infrastructure perfected over decades for unparalleled efficiency and quality control represents a foundational pillar of its electrification strategy. The challenge and the opportunity lies in adapting this legendary system to the new realities of EVE manufacturing. Can the principles that perfected just-in-time parts delivery for internal combustion engines be seamlessly reconfigured for battery packs, electric motors, and power electronics? The answer will determine the cost and scalability of its future EVs. Furthermore, this infrastructure is not merely physical. It encompasses a global network of suppliers, dealerships, and a brand reputation for bulletproof reliability that Toyota must now carefully pivot without alienating its established customer base. Its strategy, therefore, is a delicate balancing act, leveraging its immense resources and manufacturing prowess to launch a compelling fleet of electric vehicles while simultaneously managing the gradual sunset of its traditional powertrain business. The success of this reinvention will hinge on its ability to execute this dual-track strategy with the same operational excellence that defined its rise to global dominance.